Each week, our master mom, Amanda Olson, stops by with great parenting tips. And this morning, she's here to discuss how we can teach our children about commitment. I mean, I think a lot of adults could use that same lesson, <laughs> those lessons as well. Be, a commitment is, 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 a, is a life skill that a lot of folks and a lot of children, they need that. They do, and we can uh, we can help them by, of course, leading by example. Right. You know, so they are always watching us. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to kind of talk about commitment, uh, learning to commit to things can become a habit, yes. just like learning to quit can become a habit. Right. So it's something that we can start, uh, hopefully at a young age, and teach our children how to stick with something that they've promised that they would do. I think so. I think a lot of things in life, it, it's not just being committed to people, it's being committed to situations, being committed to a career, being committed to a job. It, it, those life lessons that you learn early stay with you all the way through, don't they? They do. You know, uh, my parents did me a, a good service teaching right. me that as a, as a little child, you know, to stick with something. I uh, started my martial arts training when I was around 10 or 11, right. and about six months into it, I was getting kind of that plateau that just about anybody goes through the right. newness is worn off it's getting a little harder and uh but i knew my parents had signed me up for a year mm -hmm. so <laughs> i was like they had already taught me because of the girl scouts and soccer practice and right. all kinds of other things i had done that when you sign up for something you finish right. you know so i kind of resigned myself to okay well i will finish this you know and uh, i didn't even really talk to them about it you know so they never really knew that until later on mm -hmm. but uh it got through got me through that plateau and then, you know, obviously I've never looked back, <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm grateful for that lesson of commitment. It served me in a lot of different things. But uh, I do have some advice for parents today on different Absolutely. age groups. Please share it with us. Um, so when you're thinking about if your child is around the nine, you know, nine and under, the right. little guys, right. um, you want to teach them that when they say they're going to do something, that they stick with it. Right. You know, so remember that at that age, you're still the boss as the parent. Yes. So if you sign them up for soccer, then on Tuesdays it's soccer practice and that's what they do. Uh, there's no debate. There's no, you know, if they complain, it doesn't matter. They're still right. going, you know. And then they start to learn that when you sign up for something, you go. And then when they're older, say 10 to 15. Right. Now you can start working on making those decisions together. Right. You know, and you can sort of talk about, okay, you want to do this. Here's how long it's going to be. Here's the commitment. You know, maybe they want to join a, uh, a play at school or, you know, right. something like that. It doesn't always have to be an athletic thing. You know, or they a sign club up or for something along uh, yeah, a yeah. club, you know, yeah. uh, I know there's like hiking clubs and yes. stuff like that. So say, okay, this is the commitment it's going to take. You know, let's make sure that we understand this before we say yes, right. you know, uh, that we are going to finish it. Mm -hmm. And so there's not going to be any arguing or debate when it's time to go. And uh, it's kind of set them up, we call it pre-framing, pre-frame them right. for, you know, finishing what they started. And then... Uh, You're also pre-framing pre them for success that way. Too. Absolutely, yeah. you know, and then talk about also, all right, when the newness wears off and yes. you feel like you don't want to go, right. uh, how are we going to handle that? You know, you know, just let's, let's have a conversation and decide, no, we're just going to get our uniform on, you know, get our books, whatever it is we need, get our... Get our nose get, to the grind. Get, right, yeah. and, and finish it. And the, the great thing is, is that when you do help your children learn to persevere and right. do that, they build so much confidence because uh, I have parents say, you know, my child always quits something, you know. Right. Well, a lot of times people quit because they're afraid they right. can't do it. Right. You know, they're afraid they're, they, they can't, can't do it well. Right, yes. right. And by finishing something that they mm -hmm. started, it says, yes, I can. Right. You know, even if they're six, yes, I can. I did it. You know, I got the uh, participation trophy at the end. Right. You know, and, and I had a good time and I made friends right. and I, I know I can do it. So when the next thing comes up, they yeah. have the confidence to do it. I like that because I have two boys and, and our rule at our house is if you start a club or you start an athletic activity, you finish that season. You yeah. know, if you if you start, you and that's what you're saying here mm -hmm. is is commitment. Well, and, and it's a commitment on your part too, right? You know, because it, because it's a commitment that I make sure that I get them there on time, <laughs> right? And I get them to their appointments or their their games or whatever. I get them there on time. And as parents, I think we need to we like you said earlier, lead by example. And if we're committed to the things that we do, like our civic organizations or other things that we're, that, that, that goes a long way with, with our children. Oh, yeah. They see us showing up to meetings and yes. giving back to the community. Going to work every day. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, finishing the things that we promised people we would do. Right. All right. 
Master Mom Amanda Olson, <laughs> as always, great information. Olson's Martial Arts Academy. It's right down the street here on Cherry Street. Also, if you'd like to give her, give uh, go to Olson'sMA.com for more information, or give them a call right there. The number's on the screen, and she is also online as well in all the social media. The preceding portion of Daytime Tri-Cities was sponsored by 